Hi, hello students. Welcome to Let's Understand Physics. In this video, we see Class 8 CBSC Sound Chapter. In the previous video, we have discussed first to fourth question. In that, you have learnt major definitions. Now, in fifth question and sixth question, you have mathematical problems. For those solving problems, you have this formula in your lesson. So, these formulas you have to learn so that it will be easy for you to solve those problems. Now, frequency formula is number of oscillations by time taken. Time period is equal to time taken by number of oscillations. These two formulae are directly from definitions. If you have not watched the first video, I will give link in the description. Please watch it. Okay. So, in both the formulae, you have physical quantities, number of oscillations and time taken. Isn't it? Frequency, number of oscillations in numerator, but time period it is in denominator. In the same way, time taken for frequency in denominator, for time period it is in numerator. So, if you just reciprocate this formula of frequency, you will get time period formula. Okay. So, don't get confused. Time period. Then, time will be in the numerator. Okay, remember like this. Then the third formula is from that time period is equal to 1 by frequency means if you reciprocate frequency you will get time period. Now remember this if they have given directly frequency you can use this formula to find time period instead of going for this formula which is time taken by number of oscillations. Okay, these three you have to understand and remember to solve the problems easily. Okay. Now, we will go to the problem from your textbook that is fifth question. In your exam, they will give the same type of problems with the different data. Okay. Now, the values will be changed. See here. Read the question properly and understand what are given things and what you have to find. Then it will be easy for you. A pendulum oscillates 40 times in 4 seconds. So, only this is the data given for you. What is given? Number of oscillations is equal to 40. And Time taken equal to 4 seconds. So, this is the given data. And what are they asking you to find? You have to read now. Okay. Now, see here. They are asking you to find time period and frequency. Just now by using these two data we have learnt formulae isn't it now what is time period capital T is equal to formula time taken by number of oscillations you can write simply time taken small t and number of oscillations n so that it will be easy for you but before writing those alphabet representation write the formula so that it will be easy and understandable to solve okay so time taken by number of oscillations i am just substituting t is equal to what is time taken 4 seconds 4 by number of oscillations 40 isn't it now, if you take calculation 4 ones and 4 tens, t is equal to 1 by 10. 1 by 10 means how much? 0 0.1 and this is time period. What is the unit? Second you will get. Okay. So, time period is equal to 0 0.1 second. Now, not only time period, they are asking you to find frequency as well that also we have to find okay now write frequency formula 
what is frequency formula same isn't it but numerator and denominator will be changing frequency is equal to number of oscillations by time taken it is time taken okay don't get confused number of oscillations by time taken we will simply substitute in this formula also for frequency i am just writing f f is equal to number of oscillations 40 by time taken is 4 seconds so 4 ones and 4 tens what is the value you get 10 isn't it now frequency is equal to what is the unit for frequency hertz so frequency is 10 hertz you can write small f because in the first chapter you have learned force right for force we write capital f for frequency you can write small f or you can write nu as well nu is also taken as frequency now this is the solution for fifth problem now sixth one you see the sound from a mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wings at an average rate of 500 vibrations per second so from the definition number of vibrations per second is frequency okay to see the problem it is very lengthy isn't it but only one data is given frequency is equal to 500 hertz now find time period what is the time period of the vibration what is the time period t is equal to 1 by f isn't it 1 by frequency in formula we have learnt directly i am substituting 1 by f is 500 is equal to 1 by 500 you can leave like that otherwise just simplify and write 1 by 500 is equal to 0 0.002 what is the unit second because it is time period so these are the solutions for these two questions if you see this problem it is so big but the solution is so small just by seeing don't get scared if you read it and understand it in physics it will be very very easy to solve the problems because there will be 90 percent of the problems simply by substitution in the formula thank you if you understand please like the video and share the video to the students those who are studying cbsc class 8 even for class 9 students also you can share it and please subscribe comment if you have any particular topic doubts in the physics chapters then i will make the video on those topics